A recovering fentanyl addict is shedding light on what is driving the deadly epidemic in Georgia. Channel 2's Tom Regan is live in Cobb County. And Tom, the director of an addiction treatment center told you many heroin patients are also testing positive for fentanyl. Yeah, and a lot of those patients, they say they didn't realize that the heroin they were using was actually mixed with fentanyl. That recovering fentanyl addict told me he feels fortunate to be around to tell his story. It took over. It took over. Patton Slay is sober, but for a couple of years he was addicted to opioids, including illicit fentanyl pills that he bought on the street. At the height of his addiction, he figures he was spending $300 a day on drugs. I never really thought about the risk. Again, because at that time, all I'm in it for is to get the relief. Whenever he stopped taking the pills, he suffered withdrawal symptoms, sweats, body pains, and nausea. Dr. Stacy Cycle, an addictionologist, told me the abuse of opioids and fentanyl hijack and rewire the brain, convincing the addict that they need it to survive. Which is totally the opposite. A healthy survival brain would be saying, that could kill you, don't take it. Dr. Cycle administered pharmaceutical fentanyl as an operating room anesthesiologist. She says criminal drug organizations have gotten hold of the molecular formula of fentanyl and continue to alter it slightly to evade laws. But it just takes a little bit of understanding of chemistry to make these potent compounds and then to ship them. Patton told me he's lost friends to drug overdoses. In looking back, he knows he too could easily have wound up a grim statistic. All it would have taken was one fake pill. And, and the scariest part of it all is, is I wouldn't have hesitated to buy it. Patton says he's grateful to his father for getting him into rehab. He wants to spread a message of hope. He's now helping others get sober here at the Riverman Health Center. Live in Cobb County, Tom Regan, Channel 2, Action News. More details on the powerful drug. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation is taking extra steps to keep lab workers safe. GBI scientists are required to wear gloves, closed toe shoes, lab goggles, and a respiratory mask when dealing with fentanyl. The drug is so strong it can be absorbed through the skin.